Recently, there was um, a case of a, a woman who uh, was pregnant on a flight, and she she was about to, her waters broke on the flight, and I think it was from the Philippines to um, to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And um, again, if you look uh, if you look on this this map, you're uh, from around here somewhere to to here. Okay, now they were flying across, and and literally. Um, she, her waters broke and they had to divert, they had to land. So instead of either going back to the Philippines or going on to uh, Los Angeles, they went, they landed in Alaska. <laughs> Which again, if you look on the, uh, on the flat map, it's again a, a straight path. Santiago, Chile to, to uh, uh, Australia mm -hmm. right, will, will usually stop in Los Angeles. We'll also say that if a sniper is, um, you know, is trying to hit something a, a great distance, a couple of miles away, um, they have to take into consideration the spinning of the earth because they say that as the bullet leaves the muzzle of the gun, mm -hmm. it's now um, independent of the rotation of the earth. So, yeah, the earth will spin away from where the bullet, and you have to take it, that into account. They say that about artillery shells as well that it's not true. Um, if, if that was true, um, a sniper would have to spend ages and ages calculating how to, to, to make that shot. And they don't. They literally take into consideration the wind and, um, and you know, the, the elevation, and they don't take um, the Coriolis effect into, into consideration at all. Also, planes, if, if that works for, for bullets, if bullets, as soon as they leave the earth, they're now independent of the spin, then why doesn't it work for planes? Yeah? Um, there's a, a video on YouTube that actually tries to explain um, that uh, the Coriolis effect works by using the, the um, example of a paper plane. You have to throw it, if you throw it north, the, uh, the the earth will spin and the, the plane will land sort of, uh, you know, east. Um, but if you take the idea of a real plane, you know, a plane would have to aim north to go east in that case. But it, that's not what happens. And uh, if that was the case as well, um, planes would have to land on runways that are moving. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that would be impossible. But how is it that you can take a flight from London to, to New York and it would take exactly the same time as a flight from New York to London. Yeah? Um, one's with the spin of the planet and the other one's against it. So it, does, again, doesn't make sense. Um, they'll say that uh, the whole atmosphere is moving yeah, um, with, the, with the planet, but that doesn't make sense either. <laughs> 